We see him work 24 hours a day. This guy was not trying to cheat anyone. Not all entrepreneurs in this great country, not all entrepreneurs end up becoming Bill Gates. Not all of them end up becoming Elizabeth Holmes. Some of them fail because they have colleagues like Carol and Ellison and Gary. But that doesn't mean they should go to jail. That doesn't mean they're criminals. And the question that we have to be asking is, did they try? Did they do everything they could to make things right? And this man, this child, I love you, Sam, that stands before you did do that. And that means you must acquit him. The really top defense attorneys don't charge per hour. You want all those attorneys I just mentioned? You're looking at probably 30, 40 million bucks. Sam would be chilling for, for the next two years while the prosecutor's like, we want results. President Biden called me. He wants to know what's going on with this case. It's gonna be an election issue. You know, Sam's sitting like this. I'll plead guilty today for 10. Come on, guys. You want President Biden to be angry at you? The new judge, uh, Judge Kaplan, is relatively good. Is one of the only judges that was not a prosecutor first. And you say something dumb, Judge Kaplan smacks you very quickly. The last question, Gary, before we let you go. Did you sleep with Carolyn Ellison as well? In the streets, you have a famous saying, pick 12. I told the feds, pick 12. Now, if you're the feds, you might say, listen, Sam, this is the one chance, the one deal we're ever gonna give you. Plead guilty now and we'll do 30 years. But, but, but what if it is true? I don't wanna go to jail for the rest of my life. Let's be takes us 30 years real quick. Chill. I know it sounds bad. They're gonna give us a better plea deal the longer we drag it out. The big question on the plea deal is what is he pleading to? Now, I think the bad news is for him, Carolyn pled to the whole indictment which is kind of unprecedented. So I really doubt Sam will plead to one count or two counts or something. If he's pleading to the whole indictment, life is on the table. Judges tend not to run them wild. Judges tend to say, well, if the max is 20, I'm gonna give the guy 20. Uh, no, Carolyn's plea is out there. Um, she's pleading to eight counts. Um, the entire agreement isn't public, but the important thing on a plea agreement is how many counts are you giving, giving up? I think he gets 20, maybe 30. I think it's just hard because of the structure. You know, running the, them consecutive versus concurrent is something that, again, judges are tend to, only in the most extreme cases, go for the consecutive sentence. So I think he's gonna have to plead to eight counts, which is not good. If I'm the judge, and I'll tell you all about his new judge, if I'm the judge, I'm sitting there saying, well, what's the prosecution gonna recommend, right? So basically after this plea is taken, there's a sentencing memo. You get a sentencing memo for uh, the prosecution, you get a sentencing memo for the government. And in these plea deals, sometimes you negotiate, well, what are you gonna ask for? And that's kind of the back and forth you do in a, in a, in a plea deal. Uh, but the biggest thing about the deal, the word deal means you're making some kind of trade, right? And the deal is I'm gonna plead guilty to this many counts, or you can go to trial and find me guilty of this, or try to find me guilty of all these counts and I'm gonna defend myself. And so you typically bargain something less than the whole indictment, right? If they're charging you with eight counts, you say, all right, I'll plead guilty to two of them. The problem is that's not good enough for the prosecutors. And they got Carolyn to plead to all eight, um, which is really, you know, again, wild. We won't know anything for, for many months, but it is interesting now that we're not going to have a trial, which again is a pretty smart thing for Sam. When you go to trial, that's sort of when you, you're consistent. You say, I'm not guilty. I am innocent. Take me to trial. I don't care how many witnesses you have. I'm not guilty. I'm going to trial. You found guilty. It is what it is. Um, you know, but at least you were consistent. The problem with uh, Sam is he said, well, no, I'm not guilty. You know, what are you talking about? I didn't know about this stuff. I, I, I vaguely knew what was going on. I, you know, I didn't have any criminal intent. I know everything went wrong. I'm so sorry. But, you know, I didn't, my intent was good. Which again, is that's a suitable defense. You know, your businesses can fail. They're allowed to fail. Um, what you're not allowed to do is lie and steal and cheat. You're allowed to have a sloppy business, right? You're allowed to have bad record keeping. You're allowed to, you know, do all kinds of things wrong. As long as your mental state is not one where you're lying, cheating, deceiving, and stealing, and you can be found completely innocent, even if your business completely implodes. I think it's in about two weeks. So again, you have a big issue here where to me, you know, the allocution phase of pleading guilty is very painful. You have to, in usually open court, and I see I can't see how this isn't open court. The judge is gonna ask him maybe for 20 minutes different questions. Did you knowingly take customer funds when you knew you weren't supposed to? Yes, Your Honor, yes I did. And then what happened? Well, I took those customer funds and, and I spent them on political donations. And what else did you spend them on, Mr. Bankman? 
well, I spent them on personal luxuries. Okay, can you tell me about those luxuries? Yes, they were uh, vacation houses and private jets and so forth and so forth. Okay, Mr. Bankman, can we turn to the part of the crime where you tried to conceal this and that? And, and you have to go through this over and over and over again. It's this long period that's really painful. The plea hearing concludes, and then the, the sort of PSI and sentencing reports come out. The PSI is the probation's um, evaluation of the case. Uh, the PSI um, usually will recommend something like life in a situation like this. The government won't ask for life. The government will probably ask for a minimum sentence of, say, 20 years or something like that and leave it up to the judge's discretion. They may ask for life. You can make a deal where you say, listen, I'll plead to the guidelines, you know, and we fight over the guidelines. If you're the prosecutor and I'm the defense and we say, all right, we've agreed, I'm going to plead guilty to one count uh, and the count's a max 20, then the prosecution will say, or you might ask the prosecution, well, what are you going to ask for? And the prosecution can say something simple like, we're going to ask for something within zero to 20. What are you going to defend for? Of course, we're going to defend as little as possible. So it's kind of this back and forth of trying to get this thing as, as uh, squared away as possible. But you can actually make a deal where you, where you agree that the prosecution won't ask for more than 10 or something like that. And it's extremely rare that when you, when the government asks for something, let's say they ask for a specific number, like 50, the, the judge never gives above that number. So that's like a ceiling. We don't know what's inside the prosecutor's mind. Are they asking for life? Are they asking for so forth? Is Sam going to them saying, um, I'll, I'll plead, but you got to give me something I can plead to, like 30. You know, I'm not pleading to life. It's crazy. And the prosecutor might say, well, given this judge and given the fact pattern, I'm not sure we can get 30 after trial anyway. Let's take the 30 or something like that. These prosecutions, and I talked to a criminal defense attorney just last night, uh, one of the, the biggest names in the business. These prosecutions are unprecedented in speed, including um, the arrest made the other day uh, on uh, Avi Eisenberg. This uh, speed at which the government's operating is unprecedented. I mean, it's so unprecedented, there really isn't a way to describe it. Government does not work quickly, nor should they. These are matters of huge importance. Somebody's life is about to be completely upended, possibly be put into prison forever. You're supposed to do a thorough investigation, just file every subpoena. You're supposed to visit every witness. Now, the Southern District is known to be the, the, the strongest uh, federal court district in, in America. It's, it's the most uh, heralded, it's the most prestigious, and they've prosecuted many, many famous people. So the head of the Southern District can do what he wants, right? He can say, I'm sick of these, these criminals. I want to see this, see these people go down immediately. Even still, you would think it would take a year or two to prosecute somebody. These things don't happen quickly, right? There's no rush. You know, what's the rush? You know, the person's hanging around for a year. It's not like they can flee and Sam Bankman can't flee. You know, people know his face. There's nowhere for him to go. The new judge, uh, Judge Kaplan, is relatively good. So if he had a, on a scale of one to 10, if he had an eight before, he maybe has a seven now, I'd say. So Kaplan um, is one of the only judges that, I'm, that I even am aware of nationally, forget Southern District, that was not a prosecutor first. So he's one of the only federal judges that wasn't a prosecutor first. So he's you know very experienced. He is a ornery old man. If you say something stupid, especially as a lawyer, forget to defend. Defendants don't talk in Judge Kaplan's courtroom. If you're a lawyer, government or a defense, plaintiff or defendant, and you say something dumb, Judge Kaplan smacks you very quickly. He keeps order in that courtroom. He's very mean. Uh, he can be very mean, unforgiving. Uh, sentencing, though, he's, he's pretty good. He doesn't throw the book at people. So Bankman kind of lucked out a second time. If he got Preska, it'd be life. There's no point in pleading or anything. It's, it's over. But he didn't get Preska. He got Kaplan. First, he got, obviously, the judge he got who recused, uh, Ronnie Abrams. Uh, she recused. Uh, that would have been a better sentencing judge, I think. But Kaplan ain't that bad. You know, Kaplan is not uh, not bad at all. Uh, you're allowed to plead guilty up until the day of trial. There are deals cut on the courtroom steps just before the jury gets selected. While the jury is getting selected, lawyers are negotiating, listen, let's end this trial right here. And listen, the butterflies are in your stomach. You're the government. You don't want to do this. You're, you're nervous. They're nervous. Everybody's kind of thinking about what to do. 
Um, so you cut a deal. So the second the indictment drops, you're not supposed to cut a deal. You're supposed to fight and kind of jockey for position and be like, "Oh well, yeah, we'll go to trial. How about that? Yeah. Uh, in, in, the, in the hood, in the streets, you have a famous saying. You say, pick 12. So whenever uh, anybody asked me in prison, did you uh, plead guilty or did you rat anyone out? And I'd say, I told the feds, pick 12. Um, which is, you know, basically, I'll go get, go get a jury. You know, I still think you can't get the feds to all of a sudden like you just because you, you know, are admitting to your crime faster. Say, yeah, you know, he's not so bad. Let's, let's not give him life. Let's ask for 20. You know, they're not going to change their mind about Sam Bankman just because he's starting to be cooperative. So if it were me, I'd say, okay, you guys want to go to war with me? Then let's go to war. I'm going to get every lawyer I can. I'm going to impeach every witness I can. Carolyn, she doesn't count. I slept with her. That, she's out the window immediately. Anything she says on the stand, it's over, right? Yeah, that, she's mad. Of course she's mad. You know, I used to sleep with her. You know, there's all kinds of drama there, so forget her. All right, the other dude, uh, Gary, hmm, that's a tough one. How do I impeach him? Hmm. Well, we have tried to figure out, uh, you do the, the rat cross. That's what uh, Ben Braffman described me. You say, well, isn't it true that you're copying a plea deal so you don't go to jail? How do we know it wasn't you that did all this? And he says, well, I did do all this. So you're a lying, stealing cheat. And the guy's sort of on the stand. He can't say no because if he says no, he says, oh, well, what do you mean? You just pled guilty to, you can get 110 years. Isn't that right? Yes. So you're not a lying, stealing cheat or are you a lying, stealing cheat? <sighs> he looks at the judge. The judge says, answer the question. <laughs> and Gary's like, I'm a lying, stealing cheat. Yeah, I am. Just to be clear, you're a lying, stealing cheat and you are telling this jury that my client is a lying, stealing cheat, but hold on a second, are you lying now? Because you told me you're a lying, stealing cheat. Are you, are you telling the truth now? I'm telling the truth now. It is such a, a, a dramatic thing to do the rat cross, uh, which is, you know, you, you, you're crossing the, uh, cross-examining, when I say cross, that's a cross-examination, of a witness that is trying to impugn your client. And you basically say, this guy, you can't trust this guy. He's trying to save his own skin. And then, yes, another good question was, the last question, Gary, before we let you go. And you make it super dramatic like you're Matlock. Did you sleep with Carolyn Nelson as well? Or whatever he says. No further questions, Your Honor. You don't even let him finish. No further questions. No further questions. And the jury's mind is like, mm. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, no, the objections will go, Objection. The prosecutor's like, objection, objection, objection. You don't have to answer that, the judge. <laughs> Before Gary's like, yeah, I did. It was great. Judge is like, uh, you don't have to answer that. The defense is admonished for asking that question. The defense attorney's like, walking back to the bench like, you know, that's the, that's the style of uh, the criminal defense world is, is full of drama. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a show, basically. And you basically have to put on a better show. And that's why some of the best criminal defense attorneys, they're not the slickest, you know, they're, they're good. But they're not the perfect slickest logicians or legal experts of, of case law going back 100 years. Now, if you're the feds, you might say, listen, Sam, this is the one chance, the one deal we're ever going to give you. Plead guilty now and we'll do 30 years. And the lawyer's supposed to tell him, listen, that's not true. And he might be sitting there, well, but what if it is true? I don't want to go to jail for the rest of my life. Let's be takes this 30 years real quick. Dude, calm down. Chill. I know it sounds bad. They're going to give us a better plea deal the longer we drag it out. The really top defense attorneys don't charge per hour. It's going to be a number of millions of dollars. So if you want all those attorneys I just mentioned, you're looking at probably 30, 40 million bucks. And someone's got to pay, obviously. So, you know, you got to sort of have some guts and be like, Listen, prosecutor, you know, I know you got a good case. I know you got people against me. One of them is my ex-girlfriend, so you go right throw her out. Come on. The other is, uh, you know, my old business partner who's looking to save his own skin. He did all the bad stuff, by the way. I didn't. So, you know, I think I'm going to do better at trial. I'm going to get 20 years from Judge Kaplan. I'm going to do 15. You got to do better than that for me to plead guilty. It's a tough one, right? And you negotiate for six months, a year. You drag trial out. Trial could be in 2025 in this case. Sam would be chilling for, for the next two years. Well, the prosecutor's like, we want results. President Biden called me. He wants to know what's going on with this case. It's going to be an election issue. You know, Sam's sitting like this. 
I'll plead guilty today for 10. Come on, guys. What do you want to do? You want President Biden to be angry at you? Of course not. Never capitulate with the feds, because they'll take everything. These people aren't kind. They're not going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, it's nice of you to capitulate. Let, let's cut you some slack. Like, they, they, they don't do that. Well, if they have you good, they're not going to give you a good deal. So you got to fight.